Hello and welcome to this tech talk looking at the gray level co-occurrence matrix texture measures that were introduced uh, to Spatial Modeler uh, with the release of Erdas Image. So what is a gray level co-occurrence matrix or GLCM texture measure? It's a very useful way of performing second order uh, texture measures on any type of imagery. If you want to extract information, uh, especially for things like machine learning that need additional attributes from uh, imagery to, to train on and be able to classify against. Uh, gray level co-occurrence matrices provide a very useful um, measure for that. Uh, they are directional, so the lower uh, ports that you see on the operator here, uh, two by two offset, indicates the directional pairing of the co-occurrence that is going to be measured uh, within the moving window. Uh, that is the five by five shown just above uh, the third from bottom uh, port. Um, and then with each of those co-occurrences uh, in the directional component, you can measure types of different groups of contrast uh, or of texture like contrast, orderliness, and descriptiveness. And what does that mean? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at a satellite image. I've got a four meter pixel resolution panchromatic uh, image here uh, showing an area with uh, some rural areas and some built up areas. And I might want to extract from this data a map of where are the built up areas. And by built up, I don't mean the roads, uh, which generally tend to come out with textural measures. I'm just looking for buildings, uh, built up areas, whether it's an isolated farmhouse or a large urban con uh, conurbation like this area. Um, but I'm not interested in infrastructure like roads and so on, which do have edge directional texture but generally only one direction, whereas the buildings tend to have a, a textural component in multiple directions. So to extract that information, I want to go ahead and use gray level co-occurrence matrices. So here I have a pre-built spatial model uh, referred to as a Pantex, a panchromatic texture um, type of model uh, looking for a built up area index. And as I mentioned, uh, because of its directional component, um, uh, I want to use several gray level co-occurrence matrices because I want to extract information that really has uh, no general directional component. Uh, uh, buildings, uh, a pattern of buildings and the gaps in between buildings has really no directional component. So we run 10 different gray level co-occurrence matrices uh, and then combine each of those 10 measures which are looking at the contrast for, the, for, the, for each one uh, looking at the minimum, and the reason why we look at minimum rather than the more standard mean type of combination of GLCM uh, is because uh, if, I, if I looked at the mean um, uh, texture measure, uh, whether I had uh, both low and high textures in the, those different directional components, the mean would come out obviously towards the center. Whereas if I look at the minimum, um, I'm really looking for high texture at any direction. Uh, so that if the minimum texture directional component is high, then I have obviously high texture in all directions. So we can go ahead and preview this using the spatial modeler. So I've clicked preview up here in the spatial modeler tab, brought up the dialog to fill in the parameters I want. And you see on the right now, the results of the gray level co-occurrence matrix being displayed close out this dialog and we can compare with the original image and you can see how the gray level co-occurrence matrix uh, which is a continuous uh, tone output corresponds to the built-up areas towards this lower center area where you've got some road infrastructure you can see the GLCM still comes out low which is what we want whereas the built-up area is more uh, is brighter. Now, right now, it doesn't look that impressive. Uh, so I have built in a threshold into my spatial model, uh, which is an optional parameter. So again, we can come up to our spatial model, bring up the input values dialog again, and go ahead and type in a threshold and have that applied to the data. 
So now rather than a continuous grayscale of a texture measure, we've thresholded basically above and below the value of three on that GLCM. Above three is considered uh, built up, below is considered not built up. And we can play with this threshold by just bumping it up and down to, and you see the extent of that uh, uh, mask uh, varying. And we might decide that yes, the value of three is what we want to go with and then write that out to an output file name and use it in our GIS analysis. Or we might use the gray level uh, co-occurrence uh, itself uh, to help train a machine learning classification of panchromatic data where we don't have the multispectral information, but we have texture, various texture measures we could extract and use for further analysis. So GLCM, very useful capability.